hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be making mackerel fish stew but before we get started if you're new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe and also remember to click on the bell sign to be notified each time i upload a new video and to my old returning subscribers you all are so amazing so if you like to see how i made this fish stew then please stay tuned and keep watching For my list of ingredients, I've got three cans of blended plum tomatoes. I'll be using canned tomatoes for this recipe, but however, you can feel free to use fresh ones. In here, I've got two big red bell peppers. I'll be using two scotch bonnet peppers, but however, you can feel free to add more or less. In here, I've got some ginger and garlic. Okay, so I have gone ahead and cut the bell peppers and um, we are going to be blending everything up now. Yeah, so we are going to blend everything up and I'm going to be using one of the canned um, blended tomatoes to blend this up because I won't be adding any water to it and then when we are done we are going to put it on the stove and let it dry completely and then I'll proceed to show the rest of my ingredients so I'm going to be adding one of the canned tomatoes at the bottom yeah at the bottom of the blender next I'm going to add in some of the bell peppers add in one scotch bonnet pepper because I'll be um, blending this um, bit by bit add in some of the ginger and garlic okay so I just added a little bit more of the bell peppers I'm going to cover this up now and blend until it's smooth Alright guys, so I'm done with the blending process and we are going to take this now to the cooker and let the liquid dry up and this should take around um, 40 to 50 minutes but if you are using a lesser quantity of tomatoes, maybe it should take you about 20 to 30 minutes, yeah. For the rest of my ingredients, I've got basil leaf and this is what we call curry leaves in Nigeria. But if you don't want to add curry leaves to yours, you can add um, any vegetable of your choice or you can just make it plain. I'll be using light olive oil but you can feel free to use vegetable oil or any oil of your choice. I'm also going to be adding tomato paste and here with me I've got derica but you can feel free to use any brand of your choice. In here, I've got two medium-sized chopped onions. For my seasonings, I've got half teaspoon of curry powder, half teaspoon of thyme, half teaspoon of rosemary, half teaspoon of nutmeg, and half teaspoon of black pepper. I'll be using these seasonings to cook the mackerel fish. In here, I've got half teaspoon of nutmeg and half teaspoon of curry powder. I'll be adding this to the stew. In here, I've got one bay leaf, two fish seasoning cubes, and one chicken seasoning cube. You can feel free to use any seasoning of your choice. And these are no fish seasoning cube. I'll be using the fish seasoning cube to boil the mackerel fish. And lastly, I've got some salt to taste. So now that you've seen all the ingredients I'll be using to make this mackerel fish stew, let's get into the cooking process. Alright, so the first step is to cook the mackerel fish because I need some stock for the stew. 
but however if you have um, chicken stock or beef stock then skip this process and just fry the mackerel fish so I'm going to be adding in a little bit of onion next I'm going to add in the seasonings add in the bay leaf the fish seasoning cubes add in some salt I will cover and let the fish steam on a medium heat for about 10 minutes before adding water. Okay, so it's been cooking for 10 minutes now. I'm going to be adding in two cups of water and I'll cover back and allow to cook for additional 10 minutes. Alright guys, so at this point the fish is now fully cooked. I'm going to be taking them out from the stock. Alright, so I'm done taking out all the fish from the stock. And I'm still going to be adding back this um, bay leaf to this stew later. And here is the fish stock. I strain the fish stock because I don't want those um, particles from the, what is it called, from the um, spices in my stew. Yeah, I just want my stew to be spotless. <laughs> yeah, but this is totally optional, eh? It's optional. Okay, so next we are going to fry the mackerel fish. So to my pan, I'm going to add in some oil and I'm going to let it heat up. Okay guys, so the oil is nice and heated up. At this point, I'm going to add in the mackerel fish and I'll fry each side for about five to six minutes. So back to our tomato pepper blend, the liquid is almost drying up. So I'm going to give it a stir so that all this remaining liquid floating on top can, you know, just sink down and um, dry up completely. So when you cook down your tomato puree this way before frying your stew, this will allow the tomato puree to fry properly and you will end up with a very tasty stew. So this is five minutes later and the fish is now properly fried on one side. I'm going to flip it over and let it fry for additional five minutes on the other side. So here is our mackerel fish all fried up and guys I feel like using them to drink Gary honestly <laughs> and the tomato puree is completely dried as well yeah so let's get into the frying process <laughs> make we begin fry this too 
So in here I've got three cooking spoons of the oil we use to fry the fish. Yeah, so I'm going to be using that very oil we use to fry the fish for the stew and it will make the stew even more tastier. So I'm going to let it heat up. The oil is heated up so I'm going to be adding in the chopped onion and I'll saute that for three minutes. It has been fried for three minutes now so at this point I'm going to add in the tomato paste and fry for about five to seven minutes. So it is very important to fry the tomato paste for at least 5 to 7 minutes in order to get rid of the tangy taste. And please fry on a medium heat and stir frequently to avoid burning. So after 5 minutes of frying the tomato paste, at this point I'm going to be adding in the tomato pepper blend and I'm going to be frying this on a medium heat for about 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm done adding in the tomato puree. I'm going to stir so that it will combine properly with the tomato paste. And like I said earlier, I'll be frying this for about 20 to 25 minutes on a medium heat. And I'll be stirring frequently so it doesn't burn. So I'm going to cover and let it fry and the reason of covering is because <laughs> I don't want it to be splashing all over the place. Mmm, it is smelling so delicious already. <gasps> Can you guys perceive the aroma? <laughs> so it has been frying for 25 minutes now. I'm going to give it a stir and then add in my spices. Okay, so now I'm going to add in some curry powder and nutmeg. Next, I'm adding two chicken seasoning cubes. So now I'm going to be adding in the bay leaf I used to cook the fish earlier and this is totally optional. Next, I'll add in the fish stock. I'm going to give it a stir, cover and let it cook for additional 5 minutes. So the consistency of the stew is just perfect for me because I don't like my stew too um, watery. But if you feel it's too thick for you, then you can go ahead and add in maybe like half cup to a cup of water depending on the quantity of stew you are making. So I'm going to cover this up now and let it cook for additional 5 minutes. Alright guys, so our stew is almost ready and this smells so delicious, delicious. <laughs> so I'm going to test now for seasoning. Yeah, so everything is perfect. I don't need to add more salt or um, seasoning cubes, but if at this point 
there's anything missing in yours you can go ahead and add in maybe more salt or seasoning cubes so I'm just going to add in the mackerel fish and my curry leaves yeah Alright, so I'm going to stir and then add in the curry leaves. Now you have to stir gently, gently. You have to be gentle, gentle, you know, so you don't end up breaking up all the fish. <laughs> so now goes in our curry leaves. I'm going to add that in. I'll cover and let it cook down for additional two minutes. Just let the curry flavor 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 you know infused into the stew and we are done cooking so we are done cooking and this smells so amazing You can have this fish stew with some white boiled rice, with some white boiled yam, with some boiled unripe plantain, with Irish potatoes, with spaghetti, you can have it with bread, you can have it with some white boiled beans, yeah, you can just have it, you know, <laughs> with whatsoever your taste bud wants, yeah, and I hope you all enjoyed the recipe, if you did, please do not forget to like and subscribe if you are not already, you can as well share the video with your family and friends, thank you all so, so much for watching, stay blessed, and I will see you all in my next one, bye!